Good afternoon, families and music enthusiasts. Welcome to the New York State School Music Association Area All-State Concert. I'm Diane Fox, Superintendent of Schools here in Saranac Lake. And on behalf of the Board of Education and our entire school family, I welcome you to our high school and I compliment you on the parking job that you did because we never have enough parking and you did an excellent job. Over the past two days, we've had the privilege of hosting these young musicians and witnessing their dedication and passion for music. No concert would be complete without a few reminders. Exits are located in the back and here in the front and should the fire alarm activate, we do actually have to evacuate. Restrooms are located down the hall on the right when you exit through the back doors. And please double check that your cell phones are set to off or silent. And we ask that should you need to exit or enter the auditorium during this afternoon's <coughs> program, that you do so only between selections your cooperation ensures a smooth and un uninterrupted experience for everyone. And there is a special request for you. I've been in those seats and my daughter often was first. Um, but it is so nice if all of you will stay through the entire program. These musicians have worked tirelessly and all groups deserve a full audience. Your presence and applause make a significant difference in recognizing and appreciating their efforts. So thank you for supporting the arts. Let's create an, un an unforgettable experience for our students. It is now my pleasure to introduce the NISMA Zone 6 representative, Jeanette Woodruff. Jeanette is an unwavering advocate for music education. So please join me in welcoming her to the stage. Thank you very much, Mrs. Fox. I would like to um, take this time and um, thank Mrs. Fox and all of Saranac Lake um, Music Department for the wonderful festival that they have provided these last two days for our students in Zone 6. They have been just absolutely wonderful. Um, and at this time, I would like to recognize the general chairperson for the 2023 Area All-State Festival, Keith Kogut. Keith, if you would come out. Keith, Keith has gone above and beyond to make sure that every detail was taken care of and that we were all set for today and everything was organized and just right to a T. So um, I thank you, Keith, for making sure all of those hours behind the scenes really did pay off. Thank you. I apologize, I have, I have some notes here. Each year, um, NISMA selects educators throughout New York State for various awards. I'm pleased to announce the recipient of the 2023 NISMA Established Educator Award is Ms. Carrie Miro. Carrie. <laughs> Carrie has been an educator for 30 years, having taught at Westport Central School, Elizabethtown Lewis Central School, and currently at Boquette Valley Central School. Throughout her career, she has taught grades 5 through 12 instrumental music, chorus, middle school general music, and is currently teaching elementary general music and instrumental music at Boquette Valley. At the state level, Carrie has served as NISMA Zone 6 representative, and since 2012, she has been the chairperson for the NISMA Classroom Committee. Carrie will receive this Established Educator Award at the NISMA Conference in Rochester in two weeks. However, I thought it was very important since she's from Zone 6 that, I, that Carrie was here today to be recognized for the honor of receiving this award. Congratulations, Carrie. Each year, as I just said, the uh, NIS NISMA has a conference in Rochester and um, the students throughout New York State are able to uh, um, audition to be in one of the ensembles that happens 
at the conference. In order to be considered for Conference All-State, students perform a level six solo at the spring festival that happens in our zone. The students will be recommended to the selection committee by the adjudicator if they receive a 98 or higher on the level six solo. This year, three students will be representing zone six at Conference All-State. I ask that you hold your applause till I say all three students. Um, first of all, we have on bass clarinet from Chattagay Central School, we have Kaylin Morgan who will participate in the orchestra. We have from Saranac Lake Central School, Sam Keating who will sing tenor in the mixed chorus. And from Ticonderoga Central School, we have Audrey Cook who will be playing French horn in the symphonic band. Congratulations to those two students. We are also fortunate enough to have two students from our zone who will be who have been alternates, but unfortunately have not gotten the call to participate, but still they need to be recognized for this accomplishment. From Chattagay Central School on Euphonium, we have Sam Briel, and from Saranac Lake Central School, we have Peyton Berry, um, who um, is a soprano. So congratulations to you. has been an outstanding weekend for all involved. It is always interesting to see the students come together and make music with students and a conductor they probably have never met before. The conductors have done a marvelous job of creating incredible ensembles. As you watch your child perform in the ensemble today, keep in mind how important it is that music education is for your child. Please continue to support your child in their musical endeavors knowing that music is something that he or she can enjoy for the rest of their lives. I would like to um, finish before I introduce the first group with a quote from Yo-Yo Ma. Music enhances the education of our children by helping them to make connections and broadening the depth with which they think and feel. If we are to hope for a society of culturally literate people, music must be a valid part of our children's education which I feel is so true. So please do continue to support music education. It is so important um, in their lives. So at this point in time, I thank you for being here and I would like to introduce um, Mike Mistoriak, high school instrumental music teacher from Beekman Town Central School. He is a jazz ensemble chairperson. Enjoy the concert. Ladies and gentlemen that you see up on stage uh, in front of you are uh, the 2023 Area All-State Jazz Ensemble, and I have the great privilege of being their share person this weekend. Um, they've put in a lot of time um, getting ready for you today. They've been um, hardworking and resilient. Um, their conductor today, uh, Mr. Tim Savage, I've known uh, and performed with for over 20 years. Um, he's an excellent musician a great teacher, and more importantly, a, a wonderful human being. I myself learn something from him every time I work with him. So without any further ado, uh, Mr. Tim Savage and the 2023 Area All-State Jazz Ensemble.
How about a hand for our saxophone section? said we come together for the first time I asked how many yesterday had been together with this group and there were about three or four just a smattering so it's a brand new collection and they couldn't have worked any harder they couldn't have been more polite they couldn't be more talented than they are just how about a hand for your students and your children fantastic group and the support that you give them is priceless so thank you for that we are going to move forward. The tunes are in a little bit different order than on your program. So the next selection is called All Blues. It's going to feature a number of soloists. Liam Fletcher from Saranac Lake Central School on the trumpet. Lucy Thill, also from Saranac Lake Central School on the alto saxophone. Jonathan, Jonathan Slick from Beekmantown Central School on the alto saxophone. And Eleni Denton from Beekmantown Central School on the baritone saxophone. This is the classic All Blues by Miles Davis.
next piece is a funky thing. It was originally written by the piano player Horace Silver, and this is a really nice arrangement by Mike Dana. I think we've got some soloists on this. Do you remember, Connor? You know, I don't know. I'm looking. So Elaine Denton is going to play another baritone saxophone solo, and I think that's awesome. Dylan Atwood from Peru Central School is going to give you a trumpet solo, and we're going to feature our funky bassist Anson Mulvey from um, uh, Osable Valley Central School. This is called Sister Sadie. for Mike Nestoriak sitting in on our four trombone seat and he did a tremendous job as the band chair. Thank you so much, Mike. This is the ballad of the set. It's a most beautiful tune called A Nightingale Sang in Barclay Square and it features a beautiful trombone solo. Let's see if I can get the name right. Nell Aaron from Saranac Lake Central School is going to 
delight you with a beautiful trombone solo on this. And the, the entire band is featured actually, and Nightingale sang in Barclay Square. Central School, the administration has been a absolutely stellar festival. I've done a lot of these and there wasn't anything that wasn't thought of ahead of time or taken care of in, in a complete fashion ahead of time. So would you please give your, your applause to the organizers of this festival. Absolutely We are going to conclude our program with a selection called Tiger of San Pedro, written by John Lamar. Get on the right page here. It's written by John the Barber, arranged by Paul Lavender. We've got some solos. Anthony Semerero from, let's see, ACS. Is that us? Is that us, Sable? Uh, Sable Central School. Uh, I'm going to give it a go. Josh Gaborio from Saranac Central School. Did I do that? 
All right, Josh Gabori, I was going to play a trombone solo. And um, Liam Flesher back on the trumpet. And our tremendous drummer, all weekend, great, came fully prepared, and we've had a ball because of it, is going to take a solo. Jake Colmer from Saranac Lake Central School. We hope you enjoy Tiger of San Pedro.
Make sure that's working. Okay, great. <laughs> um, at this point in time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the 2023 Area All State Contraband Chairperson, Ms. Mrs. Lily Iamacone. She is the high school band director at Franklin Academy in Malone Center School. Welcome, Ms. Iamacone. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for being here today, this afternoon. Welcome to our concert. Um, I first want to thank you in the audience for attending this wonderful festival. Isn't it great to enjoy live music and to see your students here? Thank you so much for encouraging and supporting them throughout the years. It means everything to us. I'd also like to thank the Saranac Lake School District, Keith Kogut and Drew Benware, especially the music teachers here on staff. Um, being here at this festival at Saranac Lake has been terrific. They've been amazing hosts. We feel very at home here. Everything has been very smooth. So thank you so much to the school district. Jeanette Woodruff, our zone rep, who has helped everything go super smoothly this entire festival. And all of the music teachers in zone six, thank you so much for all of your support. The students on stage who you see have worked very hard over the past two days on this wonderful program. They've really enjoyed their time with our conductor. And I know that they're going to make a lot of lasting friendships and memories here on the stage. Before I introduce our conductor, I would like to tell you that our concert program is not in the order that we will play. So our four pieces for you this afternoon are Overture for Winds, March Diabolique, Yorkshire Ballad, and Novo Lenio. Our conductor this afternoon that our students have had the pleasure of working with over the last two days is terrific. He's amazing. You can read all of his accolades and accomplishments in your program, but what you can't read in the program is how kind he is, how compassionate he is, how energetic he is and enthusiastic about music. He has made such a terrific impression on these students. It has been an absolute pleasure watching him work with the students on stage, and I'm so delighted and honored to introduce the 2023 Zone 6 Area Allstate Concert Band under the direction of Andrew Bennett.
Um, I would be remiss in this season of thanks if I did not show some gratitude. First and foremost, I want to say thank you to these students for working so hard on this program. It has been one of the delights of my career to have an opportunity to make music with them this weekend. I also want to say nothing exists in a vacuum. I want to thank all of you for everything you've done to support them from those very first frightening moments when they put their instruments together and you weren't sure if they were going to make it to where they are now. But a huge thank you to the music teachers of this zone. Some of the friendliest, most knowledgeable, and hardest working music teachers I have ever had the pleasure of working with. Can we give them a big round of applause? <laughs> now, to close out our portion of the program, we are going to play a piece called No Millennio. It is Latin for a new and better change. Throughout the work, you are going to hear us tour a school about to be demolished, the construction process to build something new, and the triumphant majesty of what came. I mean, there's some fun stuff happening. The trumpets even have buckets. <laughs> Get excited for that. But I can't imagine a better group of students to exemplify the hope of a new and better change. If the future is in their hands, we're gonna be just fine. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoy our last work.
Before I introduce the uh, last um, um, chairperson for this ensemble, I would like to thank all of you for being an absolutely marvelous audience today. It's just so wonderful. Isn't it great to hear all of these kids come together under such marvelous conductors? Um, as I introduce the next person for the, who is the chairperson for the 2023 Area Allstate um, Mixed Chorus, Drew Benware, he is the high school um, choral teacher here at Saranac Lake High School. And um, I would also like to say that um, since Saranac Lake was hosting, Drew has also done a ton of work along with Keith to make sure that today was possible. So um, not only did he chair the chorus, but he was instrumental with Keith making sure that everything was just perfect for today. So I want to thank um, Drew for that as well. So at this time, I would like to introduce Drew Benware, the 2023 Ariel State Court Mixed Chorus Chairperson. Thank you so much. It's been a, a wonderful honor to work with these fine young men and women over the course of the past few days and to actually get to know them um, since auditions in September. Um, I want to add my thanks to Mrs. Woodruff and to the entire zone, and especially to the leadership and administration here at Saranac Lake Central School District. Um, this festival took a year in the planning, and our administration from the get-go was fully on board to make this a positive experience for everyone. While her bio in the program is impressive enough, some of the things that it doesn't tell you is that Kristen Zaruski is a phenomenal human being. Your sons, daughters, children, grandchildren, uh, here on the Rogers have, have been blessed with her presence the past couple of days. They've described her as talented, as bubbly, as caring, as wise, knowledgeable, insightful. I hope that as much as the conversation in the car on the way home is about the music, it is about the way that my dear friend and colleague, Kristen Zariski, has made them feel these past two days. Please warmly welcome Kristen Zariski.
Green light means not. Um, I just want to say thank you so much um, for bringing um, and supporting these young people here um, to this festival. Um, Drew and I do a, a couple of these maybe a year, um, and they're not always as wonderful and kind and thoughtful and well prepared as this group you see behind me. Um, it's always hard for me to leave my students, but not when it's this much fun. So thank you for supporting them and um, getting them so ready, the teachers, but also you, the families. It's been a, a, a true and sincere joy to work with them um, this uh, this weekend. And we especially love this last tune. Um, uh, it's called Ad Astra, which means to the stars with the difficulties. It's actually the state motto of Canvas. We hope you enjoy this one as much as uh, we do. Um, and thank you so much for coming and for bringing these wonderful kids to this festival. Thank you.